Hey everyone, so uh, today I'm going to be going out with my uh, support worker to a place I've never been before. That is the uh, Charles Kingsford Smith Memorial at Brisbane Airport. Now I've always known about this place that it does hold the uh, the historic plane that made the first trip across the Pacific Ocean in the history of mankind. So it, it is a very important object. And I did recently finish the uh, Charles Fitzsimmons book about Carl... Um, no, yeah, Peter Fitzsimmons' book about Charles Kingsford Smith. It was a very good book. It was very informative, very entertaining, very interesting. So I thought, you know what? I might as well make the trip to Brisbane Airport today and just check it out. So hopefully you'll you'll enjoy it. at uh, Brisbane Airport at the Charles Kingsford Smith Memorial just next to the International Terminal and uh, I've never been to this place before I uh, I took a bit of an interest in Charles Kingsford Smith after reading uh, the uh, the autobiographical book by I think it was Peter Fitzsimmons so and I, I've always known about this place uh, but I've never actually uh, taken a look inside so let's check it out. I, I thought it was like a, a building or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Tenant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I wonder if this is actually the real plane because uh, I know he died crashing into a uh, an island in the Pacific by accident. Oh, yeah, look at that. The first plane to cross the Pacific back in the 20s. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's a beast. Oh, if you put your face to that face, you transform into the flower. <laughs> Time capsule to mark the official opening of Brisbane Airport's new runway not to be open till 2070, which is uh, 50 years from now. Uh, I wonder what's inside. Probably uh, rat tests. Okay. <laughs> Probably, yeah. It's actually quite curious to see, like, they don't tell you what they put in there, do they? No, they don't. Yeah. Let's see, I will be, uh, I will be 73 by the time that opens. I reckon a newspaper? Maybe, yeah. Documents. Oh, this is the original uh, memorial. Okay. So this one opened in 1958, closed in November 1987. So this was before even the new domestic terminal was built. It's the old Eagle Farm Airport that actually has no pictures of it. So I don't know, really know what it looks like. But yeah, uh, let's see, the, the current domestic terminal opened in 1988. The current international airport opened in 1995. This memorial opened in 1997, 10 years after the original one closed. It's very cool. I thought it'd be sort of like some sort of like indoor museum, but it's more just like an amphitheater with a big glass box that has, for what I imagine, the, the original Southern Cross plane cannot be a replica. Yeah, very historic plane, first across the Pacific in 1928. Overall, a very uh, precious piece of Australian history in here. There's the International Airport over there. Your way in and out of Brisbane to the rest of the world. Yeah. Can you smell the jet? 
get fuel. Yes. <laughs> I know that fuel very well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, we're, definitely at the, we're definitely at the airport. Yeah, because I used to snip it a lot when I worked at the airport. Yeah. <laughs>